Hey, babe. Water. <laughs> No time for that now, babe. Gotta get ready for the barbecue. Oh, and listen, honey, don't touch my grill. It's filthy, Al. Don't you want me to lick it clean so we can have sex again? <laughs> no, I like it just the way it is. Last year's grease on the grill, last year's ashes on the bottom. That's what makes the Bundy Burger special. Oh, honey, would you clean up that spot that the, your hair made when it got caught on that nail? <laughs> I feel good, don't you? <laughs> I hate barbecues. I hate Labor Day. And I hate watching buzzards circle while I'm having sex. <laughs> He's gonna kill me! Where, where am I gonna get ashes? Oh. Oh. turning into grandma before our very eyes. Kids, kids, mommy needs a little help. You see, I accidentally knocked over daddy's barbecue and lost his ashes. <gasps> well, I guess you're out of here then, huh, mom? Bud, you're the woman of the house now. No, I, I don't think it's gonna get to that. You see, daddy doesn't know yet, and we have one thing going in our favor. Every other family on the block is having a good time away from home, except us. That means it's open season on their houses. So, I want you to check barbecues, fireplaces, and ovens for ashes. Oh, whoever goes to the McGinty's, bring me a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, I can't stand this anymore! I can. Come to daddy. <laughs> I hate Labor Day so much. Did you get the ashes? A piece of cake. You know, you can learn a lot about a person going through their house. You know Mr. Collins who lives down the block? He must be a real stud. I mean, he's a bachelor, but his whole closet is filled with women's clothing. <laughs> Pretty fancy thinking for a dollar today, Mom. <laughs> well, we got the groceries. Huh. Thanks so much for inviting us and letting us pay for it. I think I still have five dollars left if you need something to get the fire going. <laughs> Finally, we can eat. Not quite yet. Labor Day. What does it mean to us? To answer that question, we must hark back to earlier times. <laughs> you see, kids, while the cave woman sat around getting fat, smoking cigarettes, and watching the Phil Java Man show, the cave man braved the elements, risking life and limb, and the prehistoric beasts, and only the hair on his back. In 1492, Columbus brought Labor Day to America. And the women still did nothing. <laughs> and that's what Labor Day means to me. May we eat now? Not quite yet. What other torture can he possibly inflict on us? Or the land 